eat the trick. Prince Harry fell back after receiving his son Archie's DNA results. Archie Mountbatten Windsor is not Prince Harry's biological son. As a result of the first DNA test after a few days, Meghan gave birth. The doctor's conclusion made Prince Harry and Meghan restless. At the time, the Duchess of Sussex cried a lot about this fact. The news spread quickly to members of the royal family, many of whom truly believed that Prince Harry had suffered a painful trick when he decided to marry an ex-husband. However, both Harry and Meghan have asked doctors to examine them again because they believe Archie is indeed their child. The results of the second DNA examination are available. As expected, the doctors made the shameful mistake of hastily concluding that Archie was not Prince Harry's child. Both Harry and Meghan were delighted that they were able to prove to the world that they had their first child together. Many people ask why Harry wanted to conduct a DNA test right after Meghan gave birth. Oh, maybe it's because he doesn't fully trust his crafty wife. I'm kidding. In fact, he was haunted by rumors that he wasn't Prince Charles' son. The Duke of Sussex has suffered from false rumors that he is the son of Major James Hewitt, the rumored boyfriend of his mother, Princess Diana. Although the royal family denied this news, Harry was haunted by terror when he heard someone ask, Are you James Hewitt's child? Accompanying the royal denial, of course, was Harry's DNA test that proved he was indeed the son of Prince Charles. It is for this reason that Archie, the first son of Harry and Meghan, conducted this test to avoid false rumors happening in the boy's life. Returning to Harry's obsession, it all started when the love story of Princess Diana and Major James Hewitt was exposed in the press in 1991. In fact, the two were secretly dating after rumors about Prince Charles and Camilla's illicit relationship surfaced. Princess Diana asked James Hewitt to be her riding instructor, and they fell in love from there. James was later asked many times what they were doing during their dating period when rumors of Prince Harry being his son spread. Of course, he denied any wrongdoing. He frankly replied that we usually cook together. Usually I cook and she washes dishes. We have dinner, relax, and laugh. Although James has admitted the two have feelings for each other, the fact that he is Harry's biological father is completely untrue. This rumor made Prince Harry extremely distressed. Many experts think he will probably address the issue in a memoir due to be published later this year. The same goes for the mistake in Archie's DNA test. Harry thinks someone tried to fabricate this to separate his and Meghan's feelings. If this incident is indeed mentioned in Harry's memoirs, perhaps the most unlucky member of the royal family, Prince Charles, will once again be named. In March last year, the Duchess of Sussex shared a secret royal story that made many people extremely confused. She recounted that she herself was under a lot of pressure when someone expressed concern about the color of Archie's skin. This act of the man made her think that the royal family had a racist attitude that she had spent her life fighting for. Prince Charles is suspecting of having a bad attitude towards his nephew when Archie was born. He was fiercely attacked by netizens. After that, Buckingham Palace and Prince William took steps to correct this bad news. Prince Charles will be pitiful if he continues to be used as a shield for the royal family when Harry brings up a similar unclear issue. It was his suspicions that someone had intentionally falsified Archie's DNA results. Harry's once-told memoir will probably become a bomb for the royal family, especially Prince Charles. The Queen is also very worried that the book will adversely affect her son's path to the throne. Last July, Prince Harry announced that he would narrate his entire life in the royal family in the most authentic way as a grown man. However, you should keep in mind that memory can be distorted 
when someone intentionally adds details that make things more interesting. Surely Prince Harry will refer to his mother's death, which is directly related to Prince Charles. Moreover, through the series of rumors that he suffered, the false love of both Charles and Diana will probably be told in this memoir. Of course, that's just our guess, because we think these valuable details will please Harry to the American publisher, who was willing to pay him $20 million for the rights to the book. However, in fact, rumors that he is not the son of Prince Charles were proven by Diana's ex-lover in an interview with Australian television many years ago. Specifically, Mr. James Hewitt said he and Diana met when Prince Harry was able to walk. This proves that they are not doing anything illegal with the royal family. Besides, he also emphasized that the false rumors about the father-son relationship were a ploy to sell newspapers by the media. It really caused a lot of obsession for insiders, especially Harry. Through what has happened, the Duke of Sussex seems to have been very protective of his children from the trouble of the media. Both Harry and Meghan do not want their children to appear in front of the paparazzi, so they have decided to withdraw from the royal family to live a quieter life. The couple bought a mansion in a less res residential area to avoid paparazzi access. Many sources said that since moving to a new house, not a single reporter has been able to approach the premises of this mansion. This shows that Harry and Meghan are fully alert after what Harry has been through. The couple now has a new member, nine-month-old Lilibet Diana Mountbatten-Windsor. Like Archie, she is well protected by her parents. The Sussex family photo is a rare revelation from Harry and Meghan about their baby daughter. Two children, Archie and Lily, are currently in the care of Meghan Markle's mother. What's more, many sources say that Meghan spends most of her time with her children to ensure that they have a beautiful childhood like other children their age. The shock of the who is the biological father of whom rumors made Harry think about where is the safe place for his family. Perhaps Lilibet was much luckier than Archie because she was born in a place that was not noisy by the media. Archie is truly a disadvantaged boy. In March 2021, Archie continued to be embroiled in a battle between his parents and the royal family. The Duchess of Sussex wondered why Archie could not be crowned prince like the Cambridge children. Is that a sign of racial and skin discrimination in the royal family? Meghan's question has caused a lot of controversy. If it is true that the royal family is racist against Archie, then he is really the poorest child in the royal family. However, the truth is not so. Meghan made a wrong judgment when she did not understand the royal decree. Fortunately, Archie has always won the love of the royal family, especially the Queen and Prince Charles. They always look forward to seeing Archie and Lily every day. Confusion in life can become a big obsession with someone. Archie and Harry are prime examples. Although the confusion was quickly resolved, Harry was always the hedgehog to the rumors. What do you think about this incident of the Sussex family? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. See you in the next videos. See ya.